question number three. Question number three says, find all the possible solutions to the equation that is given right here, all right? So when trying to find all those solutions, all right, or whenever a question says you're supposed to find a solution, it's asking you to find the value of x, all right? So when you're doing this, this is how you're going to tackle that question, all right? I'm going to, I would rewrite this again, guys. But again, in this case, I'm, I'm lacking on space, so I'm not going to rewrite it, okay? I'm going to just go ahead and try to find my value of x from here, okay? So to find x, I need to get x all by itself, all right? So a lot of times you might think you need to subtract 3 first, but I can't subtract 3 until I get rid of this squared, all right? So again, this squared is trapping my x plus 3, so I need to get rid of the squared first before I can get rid of the 3, okay? To get rid of a squared, you do the opposite of squared, which is square root, all right? And if you do it on one side, you have to do the same thing on the other side, all right? So when you take the square root of something that is squared, they cancel each other out, and you're left with x plus 3, okay? So you should know that the square root of 16 is what, guys? What two same numbers multiply to give you 16? 4 and 4. So the square root of 16 is 4, all right? So whenever you take the square root of a number, just like how we just did, you always need to represent it as a plus or minus, all right? So you need to represent it as a positive or a negative, all right? So now I will subtract 3, but what are you subtracting 3 from? Well, this plus or minus means that your 4 is both positive and negative. So you're saying that x plus 3 could be equal to positive 4, and you're also saying that x plus 3 could be equal to negative 4. So x plus 3 could be equal to negative 4. So again, that's what the plus or minus sign would mean, all right? that it could be a positive 4 or a negative 4, okay? So I'm going to subtract 3, subtract 3, okay? So in this first case, your x is 1, all right? Because 4 minus 3 is 1. Here, I would subtract 3, subtract 3. The 3's cancel out, and in this case, your x is negative 4 minus 3 is a bigger negative, negative 7, all right? So your two x values would be 1, a positive 1, and a negative 7, all right? And those would be your answers, all right? You can also plug each of these numbers in for x and see which one of them will give you 16, all right? That's another way that you can use. That's called process of elimination, all right? However, that's going to take you a lot longer because you would have to plug it in for each of them to see which one of them will give you 16. So if I was supposed to do like the first one, I would do negative 11 plus 3, okay? And then square that, so I would multiply it by itself. So when I did that, I got negative 8. So then I would square it, so I'll multiply it by itself, and I would get 64. So automatically, I would know that this is not going to work. So this one would be wrong, all right? If I did positive 11, all right, 11 plus 3 is 14, then I would square that. So 14 times 14 is 196. So that would also not work, all right? And I'll show you that negative 7 does work, all right? So if I did negative 7 plus 3, all right? And then when I square that, so if I did, so I got negative 4. If I did negative 4 times negative 4, I would get 16. So again, that's one that would work, okay? So again, guys, just like that.